In the midst of our noisy, congested, and constantly connected world, the Gateway City's Council of Governments continues to help strengthen the regional economy, making the air we breathe cleaner and the roads we drive safer. A unified voice making a difference. Over two million residents of Southeast Los Angeles County are reaping the benefits of the Gateway City's Council of Governments. We start as a forum where each city can bring their ideas to the table. They are planned collectively. They're advocated for collectively after the decision is made. So we strive hard to get and keep consensus, and we have for 15 years. The Gateway City's Council of Governments is a California Joint Powers Authority made up of the 27 cities of Southeast Los Angeles County, the County of Los Angeles, and the Port of Long Beach. We talk to elected officials, city managers. Uh, we start putting meetings together in the local communities so that people can give us their input. We're going to listen to everybody, take all those things in mind, and then address the issue. Understand we have 27 cities, well over 2 million people, so we have a much more powerful voice. Having this stronger, unified voice has resulted in its members getting greater access to federal funds. There are no projects unless there's consensus, 100% consensus. The Gateway City's COG has achieved more than $1.2 billion in funding for projects focusing on transportation, air quality, economic development, parks and open spaces, and housing. COG is a forum to begin with. Then we provide the resources to do the planning. The resources give us the tools to find the facts, to find out alternatives and options, think out of the box. We are a car driving culture, but along with the resulting gridlock comes polluted air. Interstate 710, the Long Beach Freeway, was built in 1954. As the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles have grown over the years, the 710 has become overburdened. You have the Port of LA and the Port of Long Beach, which uh, uh, brings in over 40 some odd percent of this country's importing and exporting. The 710 is the largest current highway project in the U.S. Ultimately, we anticipate that there'll be one or two truck lanes uh, just dedicated to trucks, you'll have a 10-lane freeway going down there. When we're dealing with these issues, you don't just want to go out and say, well, here's a solution without taking community input. Residents living beside the 710 freeway have also had a voice. The COG has been extremely instrumental in listening very carefully to what the constituents of the area want. Ultimately, the final improved freeway and freight corridor will be an estimated six to eight billion dollar project. For our local communities, it separates the trucks from the cars, uh, and it'll be the cutting edge technology of a, of a of the state of the art freight corridor with zero emission vehicles. These issues are important to us. Addressing the issue is important to us. It's important to them. And we're prepared to listen to everybody, their concerns, because it's going to impact them. And it is going to cost money, but it is also going to create jobs. And the COG didn't spin its wheels on congestion issues with the SR-91, I-605, and I-405 project either. Instead, in conjunction with Caltrans and the MTA, it moved forward with plans that resulted in hotspot improvement projects. It's going to make our life better because it's going to be easier to get from place to place. The I-5 corridor project mitigates the bottleneck at the Orange County line, where currently 10 lanes restrict to six. The COG has continued um, that support of the I-5, uh, including uh, assisting in securing uh, the money. And as we speak, uh, it is now ready to begin construction. From the freeways to mass transit, the Orange Line Development Authority, or OLDA, is a transit project using the old Pacific Electric right-of-way. It will provide high-speed mobility from central Orange County through the Gateway Cities to North Los Angeles County. So again, we are trying to move as a society to more transit. 
less highway dependence, and this is a good example. When SB 375 became California's state law in January 2009, it meant that the metropolitan planning organizations had to create sustainable community strategies in order to meet concrete targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So the COG took the position um, of delegation, if you will. They said, we'll take care of all these cities and see what we can do to, to meet the regulations. Uh, the cities, through the cities, funded uh, a major study that got down into the details and the facts and found that two-thirds of our cities were already doing major projects without any state mandates. And I'm happy to report that after an extensive period of time, our cities collectively have already met the greenhouse gas targets that the state is mandating and we're ahead of the game. It was very, very gratifying to me as a council member to know that by joining forces with all these folks in the gateway cities, we were able to not only meet but exceed the requirements that they had. The community interests are being addressed through a new innovative air quality action plan that the COG is funded. Uh, we have MTA as a partner. That is a toolbox for local communities to address local ways to improve air quality. And so we start creating, you know, uh, systems that will address it. Not, and again, not just in the transportation part, but also with our businesses that are, you know, sending pollution into the air. There are six to 14,000 homeless people in the region. Many of them are emancipated foster children and, and now don't have a place to live. A lot of them are your neighbors and my neighbors who moved away, perhaps had great success, and then everything fell apart for them and they came back, back home. The COG found that there are $30 million of public funds available annually to reduce the homelessness in the Gateway Cities region. The county has been a wonderful partner in the homeless initiative. Giving residents the feeling of having an extra big backyard is possible thanks to the Council of Government's dedication to preserving parks and open spaces. The COG's efforts led to the creation of the San Gabriel Lower LA Rivers and Mountains Conservancy, which generated over $130 million for parks and open space projects. The Gateway City's Council of Governments is making a difference, helping members find solutions, synthesizing those sometimes difficult administrative steps and turning them into a workable reality.